Hi there everybody and welcome to this video. Today we will be talking about Excel layout reports in uh, Business Central. It's uh, one of the fairly new functions available to us in BC um, and what effectively we can do is um, create our own Excel layout for a report uh, within Business Central um, and we can import that into BC so that the next time we run that particular report um, it generates the report layout in the Excel format that we designed. Uh, so I'll just talk you through sort of how we would go about setting this up in, uh, in BC. So what I'm going to do is search for a page here called uh, Report Layouts. So this is the page from which we would do um, all of our setup. And what I'm going to do is just filter to a particular report here, the um, customer list report. Um, and we've got a few different fields here which um, just tell us um, sort of the, the report name, the layout name and description, and the type of report that we, uh, we are working with. Um, so what I can do from here is um, I'm just going to say run report. Um, and we get a report request page, uh, as we typically would when uh, we run any report in Business Central. Um, so I'm just going to hit preview here and I'll show you what the report looks like, but it's just a standard customer list report within um, a Cronus BC environment. So I've got my customer number, I've got my customer name, some details here, it tells me the uh, customer posting group, invoice discount code, the payment terms and their balance. Um, and it just tells me this for sort of all of my customers. And what we can do using the um, report layouts page, if I just step back here, um, is I can create a new layout here. Um, and what I'm gonna do is just hit new layout and I'm gonna fill in some of the details on the page that pops up. So the report ID can stay as 101. The report name is customer list. We know that's what we're working with. I'm going to call the layout name customer list Excel and just give it a description of customer list Excel. Um, then what's important is I've got a few different options here. Um, so I can select RDLC, Word, Excel or external. For this particular video we're going to select Excel but we'll do some videos on the other options as well so uh, let me go Excel and also what's important here is uh, I can select the available in all companies boolean as yes or no so as it says if I say yes this uh, report layout that I'm creating is going to be available in all companies if I say no it's only available in the company in which I'm working so just be careful with that one just going to mark it as yes for now and uh, if I say okay what the system asks me to do is choose my Excel layout file so um, what we didn't do before we did these steps is we didn't run through how to create the Excel layout um, so I'm just going to hit cancel on this now we're going to run through those steps again uh, just in a moment but what I'm going to do first is show you how to create that Excel layout file. So in order to create the Excel layout file, what we need to do is just from the report layouts page or by searching for the report itself directly within BC, um, I can say run report. And because I've highlighted the report ID 101 line here for customer list, when I say run report, it's going to run my customer list. Um, and what I have to do is I'm going to say send to and I'm going to say Microsoft Excel document with data only. OK, so you also have the Microsoft Excel document data and layout, but that's not the one that we want to use for this particular video. We want to use Microsoft Excel document data only. So let's go OK. And what we get is let me just open my uh, document what we get is <coughs> a uh, Excel document which has 
my report layout data, so my customer list report layout data across um, the uh, tabs that we have here. So we've got the data tab with all of the data in here so I can scroll to the right here. I've got my customer invoice discount code. I've got my customer number, posting group, my payment terms code, and I've got the balance LCY. So those are all the same fields that we ran through on the RDLC layout of the report earlier. And we also have the report metadata, which is just um, there for reference. It's generated when we run the um, report. And the idea here is that on this particular Excel document, what I need to do is make the changes that I want to see when I run this report from within Business Central. Um, so for example, we could add a pivot table, we could add some graphs, charts, we could do anything within Excel that we want to do on this particular report. So I've got one here that I prepared earlier and I'm just gonna open that up and we will run through that um, particular file before importing it back in to Business Central. Okay, so I'm now on my updated version of the um, report layout within Excel that we exported. So this is uh, a version of the file that I exported from BC, like we just ran through. Uh, but what I've done here is I've added a reporting tab. And just to keep things really simple, what I've done is added a pivot table. So you can see on the right hand side here in the rows, I've got my customer number, I've got my customer posting group, and in the values, I've got my sum of customer balance. Um, and equally here, I've got um, a, a chart that I've created, so I've not put much tags on this. You can obviously make it look um, a little bit more pretty, but it's just to show you how it works. So along the bottom here, I've got my customers. Along the side here, I've got my um, amounts. And uh, obviously the bars here represent the customer balance. And uh, I can hover over them, and it gives me the exact amounts here as well. Okay, so once, uh, oh sorry, one other thing I should say here um, is I've also, as you've noticed, uh, as you may have noticed already, I've got the data tab, I've got my reporting tab, I've deleted my reporting metadata tab because uh, we, we don't need to keep that tab, you can if you want to, but the most important tab here is the data tab because that's the tab in which BC will um, extract all of the information when we run this report from within BC. So don't delete the data tab. You can add as many of the tabs as you want to, um, but you can remove the report metadata tab. Um, there is a, a Microsoft help page which is uh, available for this functionality. I'll paste that on here if you want to look through in, uh, in a little bit more detail. But anyway, uh, let's say we are now done with our um, um, Excel layout. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to import this back into Business Central and then just run the report just to show you that um, it uses the layout that we import back into BC. So I'm just going to close this down and import this back into Business Central. Okay, so we're now back in uh, Business Central and what I'm gonna do is just as we did before from the report layouts page, I'm gonna go to uh, report ID 101. I'm gonna say new layout and I'm gonna fill in the same details as we did before. So customer list Excel. And of course, as we did before, when I press okay, it's gonna ask me for a file to drag and drop um, into um, BC and that needs to be the Excel layout file that we just modified. So I'm just gonna select that now. And what we now have is the customer list Excel layout, which we have um, imported back in after we changed the layout for that.
And now what I can do is I can run report on this as well, but I'm just going to set this as my default layout. And uh, I get uh, a message here that tells me CLXL, which is the layout name that we selected, has been set as the default layout for report customer list. Let me say OK. And what I'm going to do is just go back and I'm just going to search for my customer list report. And now you see I've got the option to download, whereas previously I had the option to preview that. Um, and let me say download. I'll just say open. And what this will do is it will export my layout from BC that we selected. Um, and it's going to have the configuration, the graphs, charts, the pivot tables, exactly the way that they were at the point at which we imported that the layout into Business Central. Um, and just be careful, I've got the uh, protected view enabled, so I just had to come off protected view there to update the values. Um, just want to be careful with there when um, you're exporting these Excel layouts. Um, so you can see the amounts there have updated um, for my customers. So if we just focus on customer 10,000, their balance is, uh, is 1,000 right now. And the graph also shows that as well. So uh, what we'll quickly do is just post an invoice. I'm going to close this down. So we're just going to post an invoice for customer 10,000 just to show you that the report updates. Um, so let's just go new sales invoice. And I'm going to just select a revenue code here. On and go to 1000. Um, so I'm just posting this 1000 GBP invoice against a Dayton Corporation. I'm going to say I don't want to open the posted invoice, but what I am going to do is just search for our customer list report again. And I'm going to say download. I'm going to say open. And just as I mentioned before, guys, when this opens, be careful because if it opens in protected view, look at the amounts there, they are not up to date. So those amounts are the ones that were there when I imported the original layout. So you need to press enable editing and then see the amounts are updated. So for customer 10,000, the balance is now um, 2,000 and my chart also shows the value of 2,000. And that's because guys, the data column, uh, the data worksheet, sorry, is still here. And in this column in my customer balance, the updated data is being imported into this spreadsheet when we export from BC. And that in turn is updating my reporting tab with my pivot table and my um, charts. Um, so really guys, it's up to us and um, sort of how we want this uh, Excel layout report to look. Um, as you've seen, it's entirely up to you what you want to do, how you want to show your data. I think it's quite a cool little tool that um, Microsoft have added into Business Central. It gives us the freedom and the ability to generate these reports um, the way that we want them to look, which uh, I think is uh, is quite nice and um, just uh, a few of the things I want to show you before closing out the video is that if I go back to my report layouts over here um, I'm just going to search for 101 you'll notice that we can replace the layout here as well so if you want to um, just modify the layout that you have um, you can export and you can replace right so I can say export and that will give me in Excel the file that we were working with the original layout and then I can go replace layout and it will then go ahead and change the layout that we have um, if we want to update that um, and also equally if you want to delete the layout you know if, if you were just having a play and you didn't want it to remain that way you can just go ahead click the uh, assist edit click delete and yes and uh, it's going to give me a bit of a warning um, just because we're deleting the um, default layout for that report. So I'm just going to say yes. And I just want to show you now, if I go back to running the customer list report within this BC environment, I've got the preview button because I deleted the default layout for that report. So if I go preview, as it did at the very beginning of the video, it's going to give me an RDLC version of that report. 
So I hope you like that functionality, guys. Um, give it a go. Give it a play. Obviously, in a sandbox environment first. And uh, yeah, I hope uh, I hope you found this video useful. Thank you very much, and uh, take care. See you on the next one.